Well, all, all uh, GIs suffer from fame uh, and blame and shame. And it bothers us all the time for what we did. We did a lot of destruction, damage, and uh, we chased the Germans out. <coughs> and uh, coming back here is a matter of closure. You can close the issue now. If he does, he's in trouble. We've got to come back and do it again. Now we go with the flow and, and uh, we don't stir up any difficulties. <laughs> We're not leading. We're going with the flow of everything because uh, there's a lot of uh, military people that are ahead of us. And so <laughs> we're going to just see what happens today and get instructions on the jump, I guess. And hope it, we're praying that the weather's going to be all right. I stepped out and the prop blast hit me and I got my left armpit caught in the lower left hand corner of the door. So I swung out, came back and hit the side of the aircraft, swung out again, then came back and I just tra straightened my arm out and I got free. So, so that's, that's the key incident that took place there. That was, that was the worst jump I ever had. You got to give me the instructions that you, that you want me to follow through on, okay? And in my body position and whatever else. Yeah, we'll practice a little bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go with the flow and see what takes place. All right. <laughs> hey, John. Yeah, I believe we're not going to be very far from where he actually jumped on the night of June 5th. So, you know, I can only imagine what the emotions are going to be. Um, I know what it's going to be for me, but Mr. Rice, it, it, I'm sure it's going to be kind of over the top for him also. So it would be an honor just to share that with him. Um, we had a rig built just for us to to mimic the rigs that he would have jumped back in June uh, 1944. So it's going to look a lot like what he did when he jumped. Um, uh, those things are, you know, a little bit over the top, but the actual jump itself is going to be. Uh, I wouldn't say it's routine, but it, it, it's it's not as big a jump as when he made 75 years ago. No. He's lived a lifestyle for his whole life of, of fitness, so he's not what you consider a normal 97-year-old, even before he started working with me. Uh, so we go twice per week, um, 30 to 40 minutes each time on yeah, when, every Wednesday and Friday. I, you know, work on, uh, we'll start off with, I kind of have to assess him each time, especially just somebody of that age, you know, kind of see how he's doing each time. And then I'll kind of decide what we're going to do.
Uh, but a lot of the things we do is I'll have him uh, do something that keeps his heart rate up, such as like bike or row or ski on this machine that we have. Uh, and then he'll do that for a few minutes. Then I'll have him pick something up, carry it across the gym, then lift something up above his head. Uh, we also have him squat.